page of discovery. Swept up on the outside, hit the lead from Klosh, and then came Simsala. Next is Lil Zena, but it's age of discovery inside the 100 metres. Two starts, two wins, and Willamu Pin hardly moved. Most impressive. Age of discovery, he's down by a length and a half. Well, Mark Walker, he's been a bit of a journeyman in terms of his training career, but across Australasia and Asia, his total training tally heading into today was 1,999 training victories across the globe. And that'll be win number 2,000 for him, age of discovery, and you can guarantee that there is more to come. Time's ticking in the deep, then perfect scenario. It's time's ticking on the outside, he's gone to the lead. Perfect scenario, late, it's too late though, time's ticking. Well, the clock's certainly not ticking on the career of time's ticking. First up after 147 days, and they really burnt hard early. The nine-year-old by Tavistock, and he pinned the years back at the 100 metres, and he's won it like a sprightly three-year-old. Zarkat still there as is Green Luck, Green Luck, Lofty's Gift, Lombardi, Green Luck hit the front from Lofty's Gift and Lombardi, Green Luck holding on and Green Luck wins the North Canterbury Cup. Number one, he's already got over $1.2 million in the bank, the former Hong Kong Galloper of course and under the 61 kilos today has held off Lombardi the eight. Here's Mariki Simons on ride the tide all over top. Grab the lead, Brucey trying to fight back. Carignan sticking on, ride the tide, Brucey not done with. Ride the tide, Brucey's coming back and a bother. I reckon ride the tide just the first win for Mariki Simons. It'll be the first win either way, Ashley McIntyre, Brucey, but I reckon it's that way, it's pretty close though.